and we know g equal to 10 meter per second square. So this will become 10. Similarly, what about height descended? H is equal to qt plus of gt square. The body is released from rest. I'll write, I'll choose particle. The particle is G, the value of G is 10. So on substituting that, we'll get this 5T square. I think these are the two equations which I'll be using for the calculation purpose. So let's go for the tabular column. T is equal to H is height descended. I know zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what is the velocity? Initially it was released from rest. Then t equal to, so this will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Whatever the height descended, t equal to zero, it will be at h equal zero. Okay, I'll, I'll make changes, h equal zero. t equal to one, five meter t equal to 2, 20 meter, t equal to 3, 45, t equal to 4, <coughs> 16, 16, 5, 80, t equal to 5, 25, 25 into 5, 125, t equal to 6, 36 into 5. 5, 6, 33, 5, 8, 5, 6, 5, 3, 15, 15, 180. T equal to 7, 49, 49 into 5, 5, 9, 45, 4, carry, 5, 5, 20, 245. Hmm. Will it come that much? Huh? 5, 9, 45, 4, carry, 5, 4, 20, 24. Okay, 245 meter. Okay, these are the uh, height, so it will be like this. So t equal to seven seconds. So now let's indicate that positions. At t equal zero, the particle will be here. At h equal to zero, that one, uh, five meters. The same, the particle will come here. Then uh, it will be at high, it, it will be, it will descend 20 meters. 45 meters. Eighty meters. One twenty-five. I, I can't go beyond this because I the screen will not permit. Uh, these are the instants of time: one second, two second, three second, four second, five seconds. Then what is the height? It will descend here. Five meters. Whatever the positions, this will write 5 meters. Just make some observation. Nothing is there. Mm, this position will be 20 meters. This position will be 45 meters. What, what this, this height descended. This will be at 80 meters. This will be at 125 meters. So what is the height it will descend? That will take it 5 meters. Next in another one second, it will descend by 50 meter. In the next one second, it will descend by 25 meter. In the next second, it will descend by 35 meter. In the next second, it will descend by 45 meter. This is what happens for freely falling object. What is our topic? Motion of a body. Freely falling object. So it's going to describe acceleration. That acceleration is what? GL, write it. 
I think already in a uniform exited motion, what will happen to the distance covered in equal intervals of time? What is the equal intervals of time? One second, in the next one second, the next one second. So th this was the formula. So th this was the situation. For equal intervals of time, it's going to have the distance covered will increase or the displacements are going to increase. In the first one second, it'll have displacement five meter. Next one second, having displacement 15. Next one second, 25. Next one second, that five meter because of uniform exited motion. So what is the time it will take to come and strike the ground? So we can say five seconds. So how much of height it will descend? 125 meter. So what about the plot graphs, the corresponding graphs? The VT graph, how the VT graph, VT graph should be a straight line. And then what about the position versus time graph? It should be an accelerated motion. So therefore the curve will be Okay, but to understand this, okay, now it will be things are very clear here. So what is the time of descent if it is released from a height edge? Okay, now let, let's go for a generalized discussion. If there's a body, I'm going to release it at a height edge. After what time it will come and strike the ground? And with what speed it will strike the ground? So we are going to time of descent. So therefore here according to the formula, h is equal to zero, td plus g td square by 2. So therefore, what is the time of descent? 2h by g. The same set of formulas, once again, I'm writing. And with what speed it will strike it? V, v is equal to v square minus 0 square equal to 2g h. So the, ball, the object is going to come and strike the ground with a speed v. And this is a time of descent. So if you release an object at a height edge, then after what time it will come and strike the ground? It will strike after some time interval of TD. Okay, this is called like a time of descent. Okay, these are some simple and this will be a graphical explanation. VT graph and HT graph will be of this kind. Okay, let's go for some analysis of this motion. So in, in freely falling body, 